Okay, so last video we looked at uh, differentiation in linear kinematics. In order to change an equation that showed us displacement or distance in a given time to one that showed us speed at a, in a given time at a given time uh, to one that showed us acceleration in a given time. Well, what if we wanted to do it backwards? Now this process is called integration, and we can do it. So. What if, as we said, the last one, the acceleration was six throughout. So can we change this into an equation that shows us um, velocity or speed at a given time? Well, the first thing I need to do is consider that any number on its own is has got a variable by it, but it's always that variable to the power of zero. So the six t, the six, sorry, is actually six t to the zero. With that, then, I'm going to add 1 to the power instead of taking 1 away to give me 6t to the 1. And then I'm going to divide by the number that that creates. So it created a power to the power of 1, so I'm going to divide by 1. Notice how before, when we did differentiation, we multiplied first by the number and then took away 1 from the power. In this case, we're adding 1 to the power and then divide in by that number. So 60 to the uh, 1 divided by 1 is uh, 60 to the 1 and t to the 1 is just written simply as t. So from that we've got 6t. But in differentiation we took off any number that was any constant that was on the end and we don't know what that constant is when we integrate in. So all we can do is simply represent it by a variable, we'll call it c. So this now changes the acceleration equation into one of velocity in, in a given amount of time. But in a question, they might actually give you numbers and values that allow you to work out the constant on the end. So for instance, if they told you, well, the speed is seven miles per hour and the time at that point is one hour, we can now work out the constant by substituting in the values. So I replace the velocity, the speed with seven and the time with one giving me 7 is equal to 6 plus that constant. Move the 6 over as in usual algebra and it becomes the constant is 1. I can now write my equation as speed is equal to 6 times the t, the time, plus 1. <clears throat> Let's see if we can now uh, integrate again in order to go back another step to um, displacement. So I'm going to add 1 to the powers. So the 6t to the 1 gets a, a 1 added to it. The invisible t to the 0 behind the 1 gets 1 added to it. And I'm putting a constant on the end. So we've got now 6t squared plus 1t to the 1 plus c. I'm then going to divide by those values. So 6 divided by the 2 is 3. 1 divided by the 1 is simply 1. Get rid of the invisible power to the power of the 1, and I've got my displacement equation, 3t squared plus t plus the number on the end, the constant. Again, you can only work out that constant if you've been given values. For instance, if we've been told that the displacement, the distance is 12 meters in two seconds, we can now substitute those values in, replacing any d with 12 and any t with 2. So it becomes 12 is equal to 3 times 2 squared, plus 2, plus the constant that we don't know. Simplifying that down, the 2 squared becomes 4, and then the 3 times 4 becomes 12. I'm going to move, add the 2 together, and move the 14 over to the other side of the equals, making it 12 take away 14, because the 14 becomes a negative. And my constant is minus 2. I can now change my equation to 3t squared plus t minus 2. And I've got back to the original displacement equation.